That is insane. This was a home for park employees obliterated by the Yellowstone River, as was the one and only road in from the north entrance. The oldest national park on earth is now closed. I've heard this is a thousand year event, whatever that means these days, they seem to be happening uh, more and more frequently. This is climate change, an unusually late heavy snowfall, then unusually high temperatures melting that snow, plus a lot of rain, combining to cut off this gem of the American West. More than two million acres, a thousand miles of trails, 500 geysers, bears, birds. As much as three months worth of water barreled down this valley in three days, breaking record high river levels set over a hundred years ago. Overwhelming infrastructure built for what was normal last century, not for the extreme and unpredictable that is becoming normal in this. For the benefit and enjoyment of the people, says the grand old gate, not right now. This northern entrance likely will not open again this summer because that one road in will take months to fix. There's nobody here. Um, there's one um, hotel that's actually shutting down, told all its employees to go home. You were booked. We were booked. And we now were you have one person who's leaving. Year. We were booked for a year. Gardner, gateway to the park, now a ghost town. Probably will be four months. It's a Yellowstone town and it lives and dies by tourism. There should be more than 10,000 people in the park on a summer's day. Today, just a few hikers left in the backcountry. And all this might not be over. There's still 12 inches of snowpack up there and high temperatures are forecast for the weekend. More snow might melt and the Yellowstone River might rise again.